So what is a toxic relationship and how do you know you're in one? And how is it different from divorcing someone who isn't toxic? Well, that's a good question. And I get asked these questions all the time. So first of all, let's start with what is a toxic relationship? Well, a toxic relationship is an abusive relationship. It's one that isn't a healthy relationship. It's one where you will know that you're in one, but maybe you're not admitting it to yourself at the time. Quite often we normalize them and minimalize them to stay in them, but we'll know that it doesn't feel right. Maybe you're walking on eggshells. Maybe you're being isolated from friends and family. Maybe you're confused a lot of the time. Maybe your partner tells lies or you don't trust them. Maybe they let you down a lot. Maybe they make you feel bad about yourself. All these tactics are emotionally controlling, maybe financially controlling, sexually controlling, maybe physically violent. There are all types of different forms of abuse, which is what toxic relationships are, which is really tough if you're going through it. So if any of those resonate with you, it could be that you are in a toxic relationship. But divorcing someone who is toxic is so different from di di divorcing someone who is healthy. The main reason for this is healthy people will still have conflict, okay? Just because you're arguing with your ex over who gets the piano, where the kids go, who sees the dog at the weekend, all those things, they're normal when we start to separate lifestyles. So you've got to expect that from a divorce. It's going to bring out the worst and even the most lovely of people, okay? We're putting pressure on their certainty, their lifestyle. We're putting pressure on, on just everything you've known to be. So again, of course, that's going to cause ripples and emotional tensions. It's to be expected. But ultimately, in a healthy relationship with a healthy dynamic, both parties want a fair resolution, so they want to make sure that both of them are okay, but they may, but they may, you know, want to argue over who gets what. But that's a healthy dynamic to have. Now, if it's a toxic relationship, the dy dynamic will be completely different. Even if one party wants to have a friendly or amicable divorce, if the other one is toxic then it, it is all about total annihilation and causing as much suffering as, and pain as possible through the process. So that will be everything from confusing behaviours, which is what you've seen in the relationship, right? It just flows through now into the divorce process. So all those behaviours, those lies, the confusing behaviour, the saying one thing and doing another, the letting you down, all that behaviour really now just gets channeled into that divorce process with paperwork, with being late, with filing papers that don't really make sense or are full of lies. Again, it really can be very intimidating as well because again, it takes a lot longer. This can really escalate co costs. And again, it's just part of the separation, uh, the post-separation abuse that goes on with toxic relationships. So they are very, very different very, very different. And that's why you need specialised help and support or somebody that understands what you're going through. So you don't just feel like the only sane person in the asylum. There are people that get it. There are people that can support you. If you want to find out more, then why not come along to my event with Richard Grant? I'm running on the 4th of February. It is going to be incredible. He is one of the world's leading experts on narcissists. I took a lot on toxic relationships, abuse, how it plays out, what it's all about, and how you can get out and recover from that as well. Get your life back on track and start feeling good again. So it's going to be a very empowering day. You can join us virtually. You can be anywhere in the world. We've sold so many tickets around the world. It's going to be a great interactive virtual audience. If you want to come for the private audience in the room with me and Richard as well, you can do that too live in London, Victoria on Saturday, the 4th of February. So if you're on the virtual audience, you'll be on a screen with us. You'll be able to see us. We'll be able to see you. So you'll get all your questions asked. But also if you're in the room, of course, you're going to get your questions answered too. And you'll be able to meet some of my accredited coaches who can help you and give you support and advice on the day. They'll be at the back of the room. So I really look forward to seeing you there. Link to tickets is in the bio. Obviously, it's coming up super soon. So grab your tickets before they all go. And I really look forward to seeing you there.